Price list in the software is a library or database where you can store all your item descriptions, supplier product prices, and their associated rates. If you click on the price list tab, you'll see here that you can store price lists. You can create as many price lists as you like and you can link multiple price lists to an individual job. This allows you to have a library of rates and descriptions you can call up inside an estimate and easily select from to drop into your estimate. So under the price list tab, I wanted to create a new price list. I can click on the drop down arrow here and select price list. And I may want to make a price list for a particular region or a state or type of work that we're doing. You note that you can make a price list based on a previous master or template job or a previous price list that you might have created. You can see here my main price list I've marked as a template. So I could make a copy of a previous price list to a new price list. This gives you the advantage of where you can set up different price lists for different states, as I mentioned, regions, years, or suppliers. What I'll do, I'll just make a blank one and click OK, just to show you that it then adds another entry to the price list list. You'll note here I've got a price list called Plumbing Supplier. What we can now do in Qubit, if I double click and open up the Plumbing Supplier price list, you'll see I have information I've imported from a supplier. So there's a tool now within Qubit where we can import CSV files. So any suppliers that can provide you price lists in a Microsoft Excel format or a CSV file format, this is one that I imported earlier. You can see here it's a number of plumbing items that I scroll through. It's imported their unit and rates. So I can easily make an adjustment to an item's rates if need be. And I can also do things like update a group of items rates. So if I tag a number of items here by holding the shift key down, there's a tool here where I can adjust rates. If I click on adjust rates, I can then add a percentage that I want to increase the rates by. So let's say 5%. So at the moment, this first item's price is $15. If I click OK, you can see then all those items that I've tagged have been updated by 5%. You can also apply markups or discounts to rates if need be also. I'll close this plumbing supplier's price list and I'll open up my main build soft price list. This is a template or a database that will come with the software. It gives you an idea of what you can set up in a price book moving forward with the software. So I've opened up, say, the concrete trade and then a concrete heading. You'll see what I can do is assign result types for items in the price book. So when I copy this item into my estimate, it'll bring through a result type ready for me to take off quantities directly from the plan. And I've also been able to build up composite rates for these items also. And as you can see, the composite rates appear in blue, just like they do in the estimating system. So as mentioned, we can build up composite rates in our price list apply markups or discounts and assign them to items in the price list, or do a global adjustment of all rates over an entire price list. 